Okay, I think it's live. Yeah, I think it's working in. There we go, right. Should be up and running. Okay, so um, I uh, I was looking at the pre-market and I was thinking, wow, this market just looks ready to explode. So um, I took a, a, a long position. I took a long position here in in the Dow and it's absolutely hugely exploded. It's a little bit of a surprise. Um, and of course I'm annoyed that, you know, let me show you this. This is just one of those things, but I bought the uh, earlier today. We bought the FTSE down here at 33. It's not bad but out here about 58, 60. And since then that has really exploded. So now it's just about finding an entry as well. The, the NASDAQ is less, um, I mean, it's doing pretty well. Sorry, I just realized that uh, I'm showing my, the wrong chart. So I just will show you that uh, the Dow just the pre-market and I thought, wow, everything with the DAX being up as strongly as it is, I think the Dow is going to explode. So I, uh, I went in and I, I, I bought the, the Dow. I might actually take some profit now because I already got about $64,000. Uh, and that's not a joke that is $64,000, but I already got a, a really decent profit and I, and I just thought, okay, I'll just see how this goes. But my NASDAQ is actually, my NASDAQ, sort of not really happening. It was the same pattern just before the open, but it's not really happening. And the Dow, sorry, the, 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 the FTSE, this is the FTSE that we bought down here on a five minute pattern. We bought the FTSE down here. This is all live, so you can check for yourself. I'm not making this up and got out here. And then I went about and did some other things. Well, the reason why I'm streaming is because I, I'm um, unable to stream uh, or, or trade live um, in about 10-15 minutes time I have to do something else so I just wanted to uh, uh, I just wanted to uh, show a couple of patterns here because if you have such a strong um, in a, if you have such a strong Europe ahead of a US Open you can almost be certain with that kind of recovery that we saw in the DAX, and here's the DAX on a 15 minute chart. You see, this is the DAX falling precipitously during the morning. Now, if I showed you that on an hour chart, now you may not really get a feel for how strong this move is, but look for an hour chart and a market that falls that hard and then demand actually outstrips supply by, this is what I call an extended bar. And if you take, well, some people will also call this, call this a trapdoor pattern. And if you get above this high here, which is 15,027, there's going to be a lot of people caught on the wrong side of the market. And there was, which was the reason why I, uh, uh, I have been long, sorry, wrong account. Uh, it's this one over here. So I've actually flipped from short and I feel 
I think I posted up uh, on my Telegram channel. Uh, there was at 11.33 that I'd closed my positions. And so that was about here. So I just, I closed the, God, this, I closed my, 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 my short position from, from 35,000. That was about here. I closed them down here. That was pretty darn lucky. I mean, I, the, the high, I, 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 I got pretty well and I, I don't mind telling you how the, the high I got that, but to close it down here, that was just pure luck. And that was just, wow. Talk about being a little bit lucky. What's the saying? I'd, I'd rather be lucky than good, huh? But it was this pattern up here. It was, it was, it was really this bar here. I had a tiny short position at 35,200 or 100 or what it was. I think it was 240, but it, it couldn't have been. I'm making that up because it was never up there. So it might have been 35,010 or whatever it was. But this bar here, I got short. And at the time in the Telegram channel, I showed you the, the, the ramifications of seeing such a dramatic four hour bar. And I went through all the scenarios. I don't know if you remember this, but you can go back and check history. I'm not making this up. I never would. And I, well, I pretty much rode that beast all the way down. That was nice. I should do that a lot more. Okay, so uh, enough of glorifying myself. Let's see if we can uh, find a pattern here. Yeah. So my Dow position is actually doing really well. It's now plus eighty or thousand dollars, but the the Nasdaq is minus. I must admit, I feel really lucky that I decided to buy two. Usually, I'll just buy one of them or I'll buy the other. And as I said, the pattern was identical. Here's the here's the Dow before the open, and. Here's the Nasdaq before the open, and one explodes higher, i.e. The, the, the Dow, but the Nasdaq, not so much. Well, I'm certainly a little puzzled why Nasdaq is, uh, I may actually, I think what I need to do is I, I 
think I'll, I want to close. I want to close my Nasdaq position because it's showing a, showing a minus. And as you can see, the chart keeps going down. I think I will close them down just to cover that loss and then let's see if I can let the rest ride. I've taken a little bit off the Dow. And uh, now it's just about trying to find an entry. I've been asked, I'm going to ask a few questions. Do I trade Forex a lot? Yeah, I do. Um, and I'll do it on my, uh, my swing trading channel, but I don't really trade Forex. Uh, say for example, we are looking at, um, I don't know, the Aussie dollar. It's not that there's not movement, but for example, the movement from here to here is 10 pips. And, and so, and this is on a 10 minute chart. So the, the whole range in, for example, Aussie dollar today has been about 20 points. While you got an enormous range in say the, the DAX spanning about 200 points. I know there's a lot of people from around the world. There's people from uh, areas where COVID-19 is, is raging. So I just wanted to say, uh, look after yourself the best you can. And there's people from Israel and this is not a political statement please understand that but that are casualties of a war or it feels like war conditions so I'll send my heart out to you as well jesus I, I cannot imagine i'm sat here and my biggest concern is that i run out of milk and you guys you can't deviate far from your safe room even if you even have a safe room i, I don't know i can't imagine what the atmosphere but if there's anything i can do for you or, or this community of traders in telegram and youtube can do for you then just please call out yeah your voice will be heard see that's the beauty of having a trading community like this is that we are united in our goal to become we're united in our goal to become better traders and it doesn't matter where we are from, uh, creed, color, belief are uh, one of the things that I have certainly come to appreciate over the last month is uh, uh, never taking an interest in Muslims or, or their religion, but having so many friends from around the world that are traders and who are adhering to and respecting Ramadan, I couldn't help but being a little captured by it and you know, looking into it. and then, it doesn't mean that I'm going to convert to Islam. It doesn't mean that I'm religious in any shape or form, but it is about being tolerant. 
is about having respect for other people. And I'm sorry if I'm deviating. I guess I just th there's more to me than just being a, a, a an old fart trying to trade live. And I feel very strongly about mutual respect. You know, in Telegram, uh, I have about not eight thousand subscribers. And in my time, I've kicked out ten people. When I looked over the list of people that I have kicked out in the last in the last uh, year or so, and all of them was because they were disrespectful to me. And it's not from a vanity point of view, but they were just calling me names or saying I was a charlatan or or accusing me of trading on a demo account. It's like, oh god, that can you know? I I I I put my I put my hard earned dosh on the line so that I can stand out as a bit of an antidote in an industry that is just riddled with people who is just wanting to sell you the next course, the next seminar, the next investment. And I, I, I got no interest in that whatsoever. Sorry, I'm looking at the markets as well while I'm ranting and raving a little bit. And then to be accused of that I somehow am misleading people or I, if I've had a crap trading month that I am a shit trader. Sure, I'm a shit trader in that moment in time because I've had nothing but losers for a month. But hey, that's trading. But anyway, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to stop here because I have a meeting in five minutes and I need to set up. Alfred King, I would like to hear more about that. So, um, Rita, Rita 50, I so, I absolutely so echo your sentiment because what we're doing, it is just rather we, we are battling our minds and our emotions constantly. Hello, Henrik K. How are you? I hope you're well. Listen, I need to go, uh, but I will I will carry on with this tomorrow morning and then in the afternoon as well. So, so sorry that it's such a short time, but let me just put my ugly mark up on the face and say, hey, you look after yourself. Did you guys ever see that? crime comedy series back in the 80s i was a young man and it was called hill street blues okay and there's this all these hardened policemen and all this and just about they say that there's a roll call and just about before they're sent out on the street and say hey be careful out there that's my message